Bhagavan and Melanin, and well met indeed. I'm Archea Galadirth in the head of Divide and Conquer, and welcome back to the Northern Dunedain campaign. Our first defence of Minas Tirith. Alright, there's a few little things that I did while I was waiting for Windows 10 to speed up as I had to restart the computer. First of all, is a renamed Foldberg. I know it was a Rohirrim town and they've been destroyed and we should try and keep their lineage and heritage going, but I've renamed it. I've renamed it to Anon Idun, which quite simply means Gateway of the West, or Gate of the West, as that is what we are. They either have to cross the mountains at key points through goblin-controlled territory, or they go through Khazadum, who don't let anyone through, or, of course, they now go through us. Uh, no one would really use Gondor to get to the west, so we are the key choke point. I have done a few little modding changes. First of all, and although they're only rough draft at the moment, Hummingbird will cast his brush over them, but I have added the guard of the Orthanc to... Um, Isengard itself as the Northern Dunedain as they are, as everyone has said, done lendings and they could easily be replaced by with um, humans and we could just assume we found the armour or whatever. So they've been added. Um, they will be edited so that their shield no longer has the white hand and neither does their shoulder or their right chest, sorry. Uh, so in time they will they, they will just be essentially bannerless. But for the time being they will have those things because as I say this is just a modding the modding change only recently done. I have also um, worked out why you no, many of you may not have even noticed, but it, it troubled me. But the cattle farming gave no growth bonus to the Turks, uh, to the Northern Dunedain. In the files, they're known as Turks, sorry. And um, so I've added the growth bonus back to the cattle farming. But Northern Dunedain do not get farmhand, pikemen, or archers. One of the few units that they don't get out of their vast roster. Secondly, I did a little double check and any snagger archers in this campaign that Isengard still have are just ones that were still in the battle on the map when I removed snagger archers from them, so that's not a bug. Again, apologies if you're really not that bothered, but I just like to reel off the things that I I had a look at and worked out on my own. And in the Umbar video, that will, um, the, whenever that one is, the next one is, you will note that the Corsair Warriors have been edited. Hummingbird has edited them. They no longer have the snail, shield or helmet. So they've changed, and the Belagar archers have a larger bow, and the Naru and Aru royal archers now have the Numenorean steel bow that our general's bodyguard for Northern Dunedain have as well. Additionally, this video won't go up for, I mean, ages. Three of the faction poll videos would have gone up, but it was certainly very interesting. Um, I'm recording this the day before the poll closes. And so, at the time of this recording, the poll is still almost deadlocked at Edwith Isengard. So, interesting. By the time you see this video, there will already have been three episodes of the new campaign. So, it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Looking back on oneself. But anyway, enough of this. Let us continue with where we are now. We're going to hold an Anony Dune. As I'm sure you're all aware, we've got Minas Tirith. We are waiting for the Mordor force, which will come back to try and get back Minas Tirith. The advantage of Minas Tirith is that whilst it's a shot in the dark, yes, and us being able to hold it is it's not really that practical. We can at least happily lose this army without worrying too much. Halbrad is a good general, yes, but he is 71 and there's no real concern to me if he dies. He's nothing particularly important. Um, I, of course, I, he, whilst he is in the family tree, I don't think he will have any position of power. Um, I heavily suspect that if Chieftain Eldarion were to die at this time, isn't Gandalf currently our heir? Yes. Uh, so as Gandalf is our heir, if either of them were to die, the new heir or faction would go to Melon, the 23-year-old adopted, adopted grandson of Gandalf. <laughs> so he would be the next in line for the family tree. And I don't think the family tree works backwards, so Halbrad is off in a different section of the tree. Right. I can't remember if we're in end turn or not. Yes, we are, because none of them can move. We are destroying Enid Wyth and getting rid of that threat before we run everything we've got east to try and quell Mordor. Interestingly, I've just noticed, um, I can't believe I've not realised that before, but the ring is in Goblin Town. And we have an army just here that yes, could easily go and get that. So I think I Lord might. My Lord. He's got no ancillaries, so he's 
prime candidate. He's waiting yes, three more lord. units. Ah, no, let's um, pick up units from Fenestry and Your orders, my lord. Yes. So those units can just head south when they get the chance. So I'll take you, you, you for now. By your command. Yes, my lord. give you three more. You can take two more. We get from Kamathrin. Through our archers. Ah, oh, and yes. Oh, we don't need... Oh, we... Yes. The catapult will be needed so that we can attack it straight away. So we'll take one unit of catapult. By the time that we've reached Kamath Brim, we're practically there anyway. We might be able to get the ring. I've, I have never destroyed the ring in a DAC campaign. I've done it in the base game, but I've never done it in DAC. And if some people say that the ring going into Mount Doom crashes their game. So it would be wise decision from a modding point of view to test that that is not the case. And if it is the case, then all I can do, everyone, is apologise wholeheartedly when we try and drop the ring in Mount Doom and the game crashes. But anyway, there we are. That's the introduction. That's the villa. That's the... I can always call it filler, but it's not really filler, is it? It's um, just setting the scene. Let's brace ourselves for the inevitable defence of Minas Tirith. City of Kings, or the Tower of Guard, as it's known in English, translated from Sindarin. Oh, yeah, this is the 44th Northern Noon 9 episode, isn't it? Yeah. I am struggling with this recording videos for a long time in the future thing, but I'm trying to keep to one a day. I have got, I've got a plan for a schedule now, and it will be one on each day bar a Friday. But the Saturday one will be a law video, and then once I run out of law videos, the Saturday one will likely be a bonus sort of tester one. Like I might throw a few medieval toe, no, not medieval toe. Well, I might throw a few Battle of Middle Earth ones in there, just things like that. Um, of course, I still do want to do a Sins of a Solar Empire episode, but um, I am going away for a period of time in March, so that's part of the reason why I'm um, started to actually record videos with a large with them going up in the future in mind because I, I'm aware that I'm going to be away for two months so I'll have to get a backlog prepared and uploaded but that whereas that was going to be a problem it no longer really is I just won't reply to any comments for two months but who knows I may even get Wi-Fi in fact let's be honest the world is so clued in to technology nowadays that no matter where I go I will have some access to the internet somewhere Righty ho. Oh, he also he happens to look like a Rohirrim, doesn't he? So, guardian there. Right. What's going to What's happening here? Obviously, Isengard only have Bregnas, a little island of evil amongst the good that we have sown. And Enidwyth, we are coming for Alkfurd. They've realised their mistake and they've pulled orders. back. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my your orders, my lord. So, Hanian. With honor to battle. Siege the walls. We shall prevail. Yes, my lord. He's got room for four lord. more units. Yes, my lord. Chieftain Eldarion. Your orders, my lord. Yes, so, my lord. One, two, Your three. Your orders, my lord. My the answers. Lord. Your will, my lord. Splitting our forces. Assembling a mighty. Orders. I'd like you to come and stand just behind so that you'll be part of any. As you wish. Your will, my lord. Joining forces. They might lord. attack you in a f because they know they can't kill off the bulk of our forces. They might go for Kudor just behind, but it doesn't matter. The men of Enidwyth and Dunland are expendable. Right, our force here as well is um that's that's safe, let's be honest. So we'll take everything bar the Rohirrim units. Uh, those that are currently free upkeep anyway. And we will look to try and take Bregnas, but that force isn't strong enough to take Bregnas at this time. But we can meet up with an army from Traitor's Folly, can't we? Yes. So, across the river. With honour, we shall continue tomorrow. Oh yeah, Traitor's Folly's go got no good, further, my lord. good size force. Yes, my lord. Oh, dear, head yeah, back my there. Lord. Oh, why did you stop Your there? Orders. Oh, because that's... Will, my lord. Why did you stop there? Army, that's as far as I can honor. go, sir. Kamath Brin, two turns. That's how yes, it's taken that long. One yes. turn. 
Uh, we're going to have to go past Kamath River. We'll have to just wait there. Honor. Hopefully we can get to Goblin Town before the ring disappears. I'm, I'm actually quite intrigued with the idea of getting the ring. Now, this was attacked, wasn't it? And we were not expecting it. But then if we assault Goblin Town, they, they're they not going to be too bothered about there, are they? How long till we get those? Oh, yes, I made them really hard to get, though, I'm afraid. They, are, they will be once in a Blue Moon style unit rather than... Or once every 33 turns. I might up it a little bit, but I didn't want them to be more readily available than they, than they are for Isengard. That just doesn't make sense. Oh, Derweth does not like us moving out, did it? But in four turns it will be um, have a greater free upkeep there. Should make the... I'm going to write that down. Castles will increase happiness or law. Castles plus law. Because you would feel, well, you'd feel less like rebelling if you were, if they built a huge castle around you. Your you? orders. Don't really know what to do with him. He's a scout at the moment. Oh wow. They are looking good as well. Rokai Pikeman with a four experience. What happened in Minas Tirith? Oh goodness gracious. Mordor are coming. <laughs> They've waited too long though. We've been able to retrain our troops. Which in Minas Tirith comes from the Anor Stone and is an experience bonus to troops trained here. Or, yes, yeah, yeah, so they're all getting one, where, or they didn't have one. No, because those Dunedain aren't. I don't know then, maybe it's coming from... I have literally no idea what is causing that retraining. Oh, we've got a Royal Armsman's Guild, that's what it'll be. We've got a Royal Armsman's Guild. Ah, oh, that's good. That is good. That's the second tier of Gondor's guild line, I believe. Although it's, it's for us, it's normally called a Swordmaster's Guild, but for Gondor, it's called an Armsman, so it's been given the same name. Because we share the same building tree, you see, so it, they, that's why we can use it. Your orders, my lord. All right, and turn again. Apologies for. Oh dear, Had another person come of age. Yes, my lord. Why did he not my go? Lord. We're combining forces. Him. Orders. Oh, because we're training troops here, aren't we? Idiot. My lord. Although I just could have sworn I sent two generals Orders. to meet up here. Curious. It's got quite a poor army, actually, hasn't it? So. Orders, my lord. I would take all Orders. four of them. Yes. Your will, my lord. Orders. Swap them out. Your will, my lord. Orders. Your will, my lord. As you wait, my lord. Orders. Merging armies, my lord. Your orders, my lord. Yes, my lord. So, Kamadir. Yes. I'll take the Rudar archers in place of orders. Lumberman. So, Lumberman will go back with Himramir to Fenestrionin. And we'll take the Rudar archers and the cap catapults from Kamadrin. The Principality of Dol Amroth. Apologies that the turns are taking slightly longer. I've been having some major issues with Windows 10 this week. I don't know if it's an update they've done or maybe it's an NVIDIA update. But after thinking that my I'd crashed my game relentlessly, I'd, um, I made those changes to the map, to the rivers that you'll see, that you would now be seeing in the, th the um, new campaign. And the game then started crashing as soon as I turned it on. So I'd click to play the game and it would crash immediately. I'd look at the log and there was nothing listed in the log. And I mean nothing. It, it had about three lines and then the crash. Which, knowing how the crashes work and what normally causes them, I could see that there was nothing in the game that was actually causing the crash. And it was only after hours of trying to figure out what I had done to crash this game that I then thought that maybe it might be Windows 10. And running it as administrator which unfortunately Windows Defender has tried to stop me running anything as administrator since upgrading to Windows 10. But running the game as administrator and in compatibility mode for Windows 8 seems to have fixed my problem. Your orders, my lord. Your 
Which is very pleasing because I was really paranoid. Leaving the army. Orders. As you wish, my lord. By your my lord. Merging armies, my lord. If we are to besiege Goblin Town, we want to have the best troops as possible. As we can go no further today. So. Orders. Yes, my lord. We're combining Get forces. them all ready. I notice that no one has still, as yet, nobody has attacked us, even still. The oh, minister has got a muster ground, and the man, we can get the Gondorian troops. Oh, I mean to make peacekeepers stronger as well. Let me write that down. Peacekeepers stat boost. I would take a military camp. What can we get from a military camp? Infantry, spearmen, citadel guard, veterans, and gondor archers. Yes, please. We can raise the taxes. There's no need giving them light. Is anybody better than anything we have here? Not really. I could get rid of the catapults. They're not really that useful in towns, are they? But nothing we can train in a turn. Would I rather have? We'd rather have some catapult. Mordor will attack surely soon. Ah, they don't like us down there, do they? Ginyard doesn't like us either. Oh, and there is Melon. The reason that that is smaller than the Gondor castles is because of that's the Northern Dunedain unique. Generic, orders, unique castles. <clears throat> yes. Just gonna leave those two. Yes, my lord. Assembling a mighty host. Making my uh, Phylon, actually, if Durwath is so angry, you return there command. and govern that. For we now. have marched our limit. Interesting that they. I'm going to besiege Alkford to the last. I'm afraid I'm not going to bother attacking them until they attack us. Trying to get as many Anandwyth forces there as possible, and we can. Basically beat Ennard Wyth in the battle for Alkford. Speaking of which, though, we don't, haven't really got a... Um, oh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do that now. Fiddling with things on the desk. My apologies. Build, build, build. Um... Keep retraining. Keep retraining. Honorian Hall, yes, please. Oh, Mitrith is happy again. Wasn't too pleased with us last time. Three free units of upkeep. We'll take two of those. You can't actually train woodsmen here, so they are just draining our supplies. Does anything require our attention in the north? No, not particularly. Orders. Preparations for Goblin Town. Prep for Goblin. That's what I think this one will have to be, is we have yet to fight a single battle. Just preparing. I thought Mordor would come for Minas Tirith immediately. I must confess. They have the forces. They have no enemies that they're particularly fighting against at the moment. There's no invasion going on, as far as I'm aware. No, yes, the invasion succeeded and then lost, didn't it? They captured Caras Galathon and then Caras Galathon was reclaimed. If that's in this one, they all sort of merge together after a while. I'm fairly certain that's in this campaign. Uh, you'll also be pleased to hear, very pleased to hear, I'm, I shouldn't really say because the real life may get in the way again, but Geostode contacted me today, Saturday the 6th of February, and he hopes to have the Moria script completed very, very soon. Uh, I shan't give anything more clearer than that, uh, because then you, you, everyone will just ask when 1.0 is going to come out. And I'm not going to give any answers. Uh, you can rest assured that 1.0 will definitely not come out until at least June. Minimum. Because I'm not going to put it up while I am out of the country. So, uh, because if, it, if there are any issues, Hummingbird and I will both be required to constantly forces. support people. By your As you wish. Orders. Oh, who did we not get my rid of? Lord. Lumberman. By your command, my lord. Merging armies, my lord. Uh, will, my lord. Get rid of them.
Everything's retraining. I hate the Medieval 2 system. I hate it. You have to retrain. Anything that's going to get a morale boost or going to get Lord a weapons Lord. boost or anything like that we has to constantly engage. be retrained. Orders. By your command. Ah, oh, Derworth is happier. Oh, that's now a castle. That's as high as that will go. You can't go above castle, I'm afraid, so it doesn't matter that that's not growing. But uh, you get a, bo a growth bonus from the crops, so. And Mordor? Still just bringing troops to us, but they're not actually doing anything. Alright, well, if they're not going to do anything, let's queue up some units. They'll stand next to Minas Tirith, and we can, I don't know, send them to Karasast or something. Oh, Umbar have come to... Ships ready! Ships ready! Ships ready! Try and counter well us. Met there, friends. Oh, here's our, they're on our allies. Ships ready! Were we going to attack Harad? I don't think we were, were we? We didn't want to chance that just yet. Oh, Pelagi has been upgraded by orcs. That is a sad event. They've destroyed Pelagia and built an orc camp in its stead. Leaving the army. Oh, that I shouldn't have trained those troops, actually, thinking about that now. Because Mordor can now attack the troops, and the reinforcing army of Minas Tirith will be called to that battle. That was a silly, silly, silly idea. I wonder if I can tell the reinforcements not to join in. I just want to think that catapults might be useful. I might find a way that I can rain the catapult shots down on the enemy. Somehow find a way to make them useful. Shoot them over the, the walls of Minas Tirith onto the foes outside. just don't think it's going to be possible. Yes, as expected, they're attacking the troops there. Foolish. I wonder if I can run. What happens if you run him away? Ah, oh, this was such a bad idea. I have been very foolish indeed. I can't... I can't not bring that army. I can't tell them to stay, and I can't run because there's nowhere to run to. Uh, and we will get a slaughtered if we try and take on the orc armies. Four Nazgul are in that army. <laughs> Surely there's a way that you can that you can not bring reinforcements. If I auto-resolve, we'll lose, and that's it, Minister is lost in an auto-resolve battle. I'm really annoyed at that mistake, and I... It's just, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna load up the auto-save. I'm gonna essentially cheat my way around it. I'm gonna save spam. And I'm not, I'm not pleased with myself, to be honest, everyone, but... It's just, that would be such a terribly ridiculous waste of the Minas Tirith hopes that we have for Minas Tirith. So, I'm going to not queue those units. And now end the turn. So I apologise, my integrity has been marred. It's been stained. I have committed the most heinous of crimes. Save scamming. Ah, it's alright. You can forgive me because most of what you're playing with here was done by myself and Hummingbird. So without me, I wouldn't even... without There wouldn't even be any save scamming to be had. In DAC, of course. And that is a massive, massive, massive lie. <laughs> I may lead Dak now, but... A lot of the groundwork was laid before I came.
Aha! They must make besieged us normally. We are besieged. All right, and the fight for Bregnas. However, uh, just to kill all your hopes for a battle this turn, it's very rare that we don't have a battle in these videos now, but I am going to do the battle in the next video. So I would like to thank you all for very, mu very much for watching, if indeed you have thus far. The next video will, of course, then contain the defence of Bregnas and the defence of Minas Tirith by the looks of it, unless they try and starve us out, but the orcs never do that. But for this video, that will end it. So if you have any questions, put them in the comments or head to Total War Centre, they will be picked up. And until we speak again, dear friends, Navar Naden Perimad Melonin, and farewell.